Okay, look at this. First thing I'm going to make in my new big blue pressure cooker is center cut shank. Beef shanks. They're about $4 each and I got five of them because it's such a big pressure cooker. Stephanie suggested this and I think this sounds good because I never had this. It sounds like it's going to be real good and tender. I'm going to marinate it for a while. Let me make some quick marinade over here. Okay, I'm going to marinate them in this big pot while I sleep. First, I'm going to put a lot of Worcestershire sauce in. Worcestershire here. You could put a regular beef marinade if you have it, but I'm just using what I got in the kitchen right now. Okay, that's, that's all my Worcestershire here. Okay. Then I'm going to put some Avon steak sauce. Okay. Maybe you don't like all this stuff, but it's going to make the meat taste good. I'm going to put a little water in that bottle, get everything out, and then I get some more liquid in there too. I shake it up real good. So we get a lot of good flavor there. Mm-hmm. And I got some brown sugar. Brown sugar. Dark brown sugar. Mmm, this is gonna be sweet. Let's stir that up a little bit. See, you can put more or less. Remember, I got five of them, so we gotta get something going here. There's a drop of hickory seasoning. Little drop. That's enough. Flash of good old happy ketchup. You happy? And some water. Now remember, you can buy a, a bottle of marinated store. You can make your other any kind of recipe. I should put a little bit of vinegar in there too, huh? Yeah, a little bit for flavor. Apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna perk it up. Stir it up a little bit. Ah, oh, that's good. That's thick. It smells real good. Now I'm gonna put my meat in. I think that's gonna be good. It's got a thickness to it, see? Sugary in there, brown sugar. Here comes the meat. I'm doing this one handed now. Oh, splash. That's gonna be good. There they are, they're in there. Look at that, I'm gonna keep them down there. Man, see, they're getting a nice bone in there. I bet that's gonna be so tender. I never had this. And remember, Stephanie was the first one to suggest what to cook in my new big pressure cooker so we gotta try this that was gonna be good all right i'm gonna cover these up and put them in the refrigerator while i sleep they can sleep they can marinate for about six or eight hours we're gonna have a good supper we'll be back after that see ya nice Look at that. all right we both slept me and my meat all right been marinating for about nine hours Ooh. Mm. Can't see in there, can you? Alright, I'm gonna take these out. Well first it's the first time I'm gonna turn this on now. I'm gonna press for browning you're supposed to press fish and vegetables. I guess that's all you do is push that button. Yep. Okay, now I'm gonna put some olive oil in here. Brand them in olive oil. A little bit. Dang. They get warm. Hope it works. We're gonna find out, right? I feel it getting warm in there. Of course, I had to stick my finger in. Put a little more olive oil. I'm gonna take my nice piece of beef shank. And drip off a little bit. Now I'm not sure if this is the same cut of beef shank that Stephanie uses. I saw they have them real big. They have them two inches thick or four or six inches thick. This is one inch. Look like a nice steak, don't it? Let's get some sizzling. I don't hear it yet. So anxious to turn this on pressure mode. I'm hungry. Pretty soon you'll hear the dog, I'm sure. Uh oh, here's some sizzling. Hear it? Oh yeah. We got some sizzling going on. 
Now this is a big pressure cooker, but the bottom, I don't know if I'm going to get all five in there like that. I'm going to have to move them around. Mmm. That's fine. I don't mind moving them around. That's three. Let them two go a couple minutes, then I'll stick the other two in. Mmm. Alright, that's only been two minutes. Look at that. Browning up nice. Let's put another one in there. Now, if your pressure cooker doesn't have a browning mode, you can brown these on the stove in a pan. This marinade smells real good. I know you can marinate it different ways. Like I said earlier, this one smells good. It smells sweet and tangy. Right, let me let them go a few minutes. I'm going to move them around somewhat. I'm going to discard my marinade. We're not going to use that. We're going to get some good gravy at the end of this, I hope. I'm sure. They're coming along real good. It smells delicious. See, that's the good thing about a pressure cooker. You really don't know how to, have to know how to cook that good, because, like I always say, I don't think that that good of a cook, but I really like to eat this meat, and I don't mind cooking it and learning how. All right, I'm so anxious, I want to get to the other step. I'm going to start cutting my vegetables up. I'm going to just brown for a few minutes. All right, my first great ingredient is going to be garlic. You know, I usually bust them up and cut them and look what we got at the store these are already little packages I think there's gonna be just about enough for what I'm making oh man look at that I'm gonna put all that in there all right that's handy they're already peeled and cleaned and everything somebody chop them up a little bit though I do have a cutting board see <laughs> I know I should get a nicer one but hey it works Let's cut them up a little. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? There it is. Wow, you think that's too much? Anybody think that's too much garlic? Yeah, what's wrong with that one? What's wrong with that one? Don't have to look at that one. be small. You can make them small. You don't even have to put it in if you don't like it. Ah, oh, perfume. Cut yourself. One day I will cut myself. And I'll just put that part aside. Wrap it up and continue cooking. This is going to pretty much dissolve under pressure. It's going to permeate that beautiful beef. In they go. In they go. Oh, it's the best. See? Everything's convenient today. And a pack of juice. Pre-washed sliced carrots. I don't have any green peppers, but you could put green peppers in there with the beef. That's always good with beef. And also, I'm going to put some clean and cut celery sticks. Look at that. Because it's easy and convenient. A couple more carrots there. Oh, how could I forget my onion? I almost forgot my onion. Don't forget the onion. This is where I might cut myself, huh? Don't do it. I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. You can do it. You can do it. Chop it up, chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. Pay attention now. Don't cut yourself. Can't wait to start eating. Roxy ain't crying yet. She will when that steam starts coming out, when it starts smelling that meat. I hope it works, you know. That's the first thing I did was the browning mode. Don't cut yourself. I'm going to do an Easter ham, you know? I never did a ham in a pressure cooker. That's coming up, hopefully next. 
maybe in a couple days, maybe tomorrow. I also got a big piece of corned beef brisket that I was going to make, which I make often because I like them Reuben sandwiches. And I was thinking of making a whole thing out of a sandwich. <laughs> what do you think? Sandwich added a whole three pounds of corned beef. Is that in the camera? Mmm. Right. Smells like a holiday. Smells like a vacation time. Oh yeah, the, wind, the weather's getting better out there. It's raining, but we love rain compared to snow. I love rain tonight. And for our last food ingredient, got some washed taters. About medium-sized taters. Probably don't even have to cut them, but I'm going to cut them a little bit. Maybe not that little guy. Mm. This is a feast fit for a beast. Where's the beast? Don't put them in there too. Come on in. Everybody get in. Back in the bowl, back in the bowl. And you don't have to add this ingredient. I'm gonna add some red, red wine. Cup and a half. You can add beef broth or water. That's actually dark pink wine, but should be good enough. Who doesn't love dark pink? Let me get a spoon in there. Stir it. Lock the lid on and see if it works. 25 minutes we're going for today. You probably don't even have to do this, but I won't do this. I'm going to get the meat up there. I'm going to get the meat up there. Because <laughs> I want to get it all incorporated. Let me get my fork. Where the fork is that? A fork. There it is. I'm get up there. You'll get up there. See? A little bit, a little bit. But we still want them all to be, you know, all in with each other. You know, all mixed up. Oh boy! There we go. Locking the lid for the first time. See over here, it shows you. Open, close, see? Open. Close nice and tight see and you put this on airtight see that airtight they say this might rock around and move around but it's, it's supposed to be loose like that but it tightens up when the pressure builds up okay locked closed and then we're gonna push meat for 25 minutes see automatic meat let's see what it goes to how many minutes 12 okay I'm gonna go up to 25. How you do that? See, I'm learning. Oh yeah, come on, go. How you start it? It's just gonna go, right? All right. Now, when they start stop moving around, that means it builds up enough pressure, and it's gonna start counting down. You hear that? It's been 10 minutes, and the pressure is building up. And again, the counter won't stop until pressure builds up. It's gonna stop. You can smell it. The smells are just coming out of that vent there. Delicious. Hey, okay, well, it got quiet. Must have sealed up. Oh, heard something. Yeah, see? The pee went off. That means it's ready. Do you hear that little girl crying? Now we got 25 minutes to wait. See? We smell it now, huh? You gotta wait 25 minutes, all right? You hungry? Are you gonna eat some? Mmm. All right, we gotta be patient. I'm hungry too. 25 minutes, you know what that means? One minute. One minute. I expect it should beep. Yeah! Beep beep. Beep beep for beep beep. Now it's ready. Ah, see it goes into the keep warm mode. I'm gonna let that sit for five or ten minutes. And then I'm gonna release the pressure. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna release the pressure. 
Now we're gonna get a little towel and put over top of that. In case of any extra splatter. Here we go. They recommend you do this with tongs or a mitt, but we'll see what happens here. Not too bad. Because I left it sit there for 10 minutes. Alright, I'll be back when this pressure's out. Here we go. First look. First meal of my new Elite 10 quart pressure cooker. Uh, open the lid away from you, just in case there's any splatter. Like that. Whoa. Look at the bones, look like they're falling apart. Look at the meat's coming right off of them. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, marrow. Wow. Let me get this on my plate. It's so tender, I have to use a spoon to get it out. The fork is going to just make it fall apart. Man. Woo! Juicy. I'm eating it right out of the pot. You can also use this when you get all the ingredients out of here. You can thicken up that juice and make gravy out of it. But I'm in too much of a hurry, see? Mm. But you can do that. Doesn't that look delicious? I guess I should have cut up the celery before I put it in there. But I was doing it quick and easy, and I ain't complaining. Let me get down and taste this. Let me get a plate for the dog. Come on. You know you love it. First taste. I ain't gonna need no knife. Man. Look at this bone. It falls apart. Oh. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. So delicious. I never had beef shanks before. This is also called os Asabuka in Australia and Milan and other parts of the world. They also make it from veal. Mm. See how these taters came out. Perfect. Wow. Never had before, but I'm gonna get it again. I might get the bigger ones too. Thank you, Stephanie. And thank you, Big Blue. My new elite 10 quart pressure cooker. I love it. Mmm. I'm gonna probably eat half of that. Talk to you soon, then. Happy pressure cooking, everybody. I'll be back.